Hi guys, so in today's video I thought I'd go through a recent shoot I did with Model Paula. Now this is the first time you're probably hearing my voice, it's really because I don't like the sound of my own voice, but I thought it would take away from the video if I didn't explain the thought processes I had going into this shoot. Now for those of you who don't know, I used to shoot for Miss Philippines Australia uh, for the last couple of years. This year I did not get around to doing so and this is a year that Paula did actually contend. Now the way this shoot came about is that Paula's mother actually follows me on Instagram and I threw up in my stories uh, whether or not anyone wanted to collab on a fashion shoot. Paula's mum did respond to it uh, but I thought she did not suit the shoot we were looking to, to achieve for the fashion shoot but I'd always wanted to actually work with her. I'd seen her in the past with a lot of the other Miss Philippines girls during other fashion shows and the like. So recently I purchased a film camera and I thought it'd be a bit of fun to actually try doing portions of the shoot in film. Now it's been almost two decades since I've touched film and at that time uh, I had no idea about exposure, I didn't enjoy photography all that much, I, I kind of just did it during high school as a way of, uh, I guess, getting away from having to do any real work while I was there. So I thought it'd be interesting trying it again down the line, now that I have some sort of understanding for lighting and, and exposure, and thought it'd be kind of fun to, to use an older camera and kind of get two variations of the same shoot. Uh, one of which included both the film version as well as the digital. Now, uh, as I expected, uh, I do actually have a faulty camera and it did show in a lot of the frames. Uh, to the right of the frame, you'll always notice there is a black line and I'm not entirely sure what the issue is, but my assumption is that there is a shutter hitch and it's stopping before it closes before the frame. Because of the experimental nature of this shoot, what we started off with was natural headshots followed by some pretty standard uh, fashion lighting. This was just so that we, we knew we had some safe shots in case the more experimental images did not work. Though I did eventually retouch the images, I thought I would share the images unretouched. This would give a clear indication of how they looked on film versus how they look on my modern digital. I shoot with a Nikon D810 uh, using the 100mm Tekina macro lens. On my Nikon EM, which is my film camera, I used a Nikkor 105 f2.5 AIS lens. 